Hello and welcome to SaaS Guru. In this video, we will create multiple custom segments. We'll start with a segment that gives information on the customers who have parked at the EV charging stations. Then, make a segment of high loyalty customers who are not actively purchasing, followed by creating a segment on the reward program customers with low CSAT score. Lastly, a segment of customers present only in the parking system, but not the reward system. So let's get started. Before creating a segment, we must make a small adjustment to the parking reservation data model object. In the relationship, we must add one to many relationships between the parking reservation's parking space field and the parking space record ID field, so that we can traverse from parking reservation to parking space and fetch information on whether it has an electric charger. To do that, let us create a segment. Go to Segments. Click on Create a New Segment. The segment will be called Customers Who Have Used EV Charging Stations at Parking. The segment will be on Individual Object. Click Next. We are going to use Standard Publish and not use any Publish option other than the available ones 12 hours and 24 hours. Next, we'll select Don't Refresh because we are going to refresh manually and save it. In the next step, we will be adding rules or attributes to it. Go to Related Attributes, then to Parking Reservation, and then to the Parking Space. Select and drag Charging Station available. Here the count should be at least one. And the count is of records, where the Charging Station available is equal to yes. So it is looking for all those customers who have made parking reservations against those parking spaces, where the Charging Station available is yes. Click Done, and then on Save. It was successful and a recount has started. It's a batch process, so it may take some time to come up with a final population of this segment. There are six customers who have used the parking with a charging station available. Click Done. Now we will create a second segment of high loyalty customers and who are not actively purchasing. In this scenario, high loyalty customers are those who have accrued more than 1,000 loyalty points and actively purchasing customers are those who have made a purchase in the last three months. So for that, create a new segment. The segment will be called High Loyalty Customers Who Are Not Actively Purchasing. The segment will be of unified individual. Click Next. Publish type will be Standard Publish. The publish schedule will be Don't Refresh. Click Save. Now, let's identify the High Loyalty Customers. Go to Unified Individual, then go to Calculated Insights Total Loyalty Points per Customer. Drag the total loyalty points. The operator will be greater than. The value is 1000. Click Done. Next, go to Related Attributes. Select the sales order, then Confirmation Date. The measurement is Count. The operator is Exactly. Value is 0, and the Confirmation Date operator is the last number of months and the value will be 3. So this will give us all those sales orders where the last number of months is not 3, which means they are older than the previous 3 months. Click Done, then click on Recount. Start the recount. You should get the list of customers who fall in this segment. It shows 6 customers with over 1,000 loyalty points and who have not placed any orders in the last 3 months. Click on Save. Click Done. Moving on to the third step, which is to create a segment of customers who are part of the reward program but have a low CSAT score. In this scenario, the definition of lowest CSAT score that is less than 4. For that, let's create a new segment. Let's name it as Reward Program Customers Who Have Given a Low CSAT Score. The segmentation is on Unified Individual. Click Next. Publish type is Standard Publish. Publish schedule is Don't Refresh. Click Save. First, we will look for customers who are part of the reward program or have accumulated certain loyalty points. For that, go to Unified Individual. Then go to Calculated Insights, Total Loyalty Points per Customer. Drag Total Loyalty Points to the center. The operator is Has Value. Click Done. Next, look for those cases where the CSAT score is less than 4. For that, go to Related Attributes, Case, then CSAT. 
the measurement is count. The operator is at least, value is 1, where CSAT is less than 4. Click Done. Click on Save. The recounting will begin. It's a batch process, so it may take some time. Click Done. The recounting has finished, and in this segment of the reward program customers who have given low CSAT scores are 7. The final segment is of those customers who are part of only the parking system and not part of the reward program. So let's create a new segment. The segment name will be Only Parking System Customers Who Are Not In Reward Program. The segment will be a unified individual. Click Next. Publish type is Standard Publish. The published schedule will be, don't refresh, click save. Now we will look for customers who are not part of the reward program. For that go to unified individual. Then go to the calculated insights total loyalty points per customer. Drag total loyalty points. The operator is, has no value. Next, let's look for customers who are part of the parking system. For that, go to related attributes, parking reservation. Parking reservation name, drag it to the center, count is at least one, and the parking reservation name has a value. But click done, click save. It shows there are four such customers. Click on done, 